Hey guys, it's me Larissa and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how I edit my Instagram pictures. A lot of you have been asking me since a very long time to make a video on this one. So I finally thought I should sit down and make this video. So here are some pictures that you guys really like and uh, that's how my Instagram feed looks like. And there's this picture that you guys went really crazy about and I'm going to show you how I edited that. Then comes this picture so I put this on a pink background and then I edited it and I'm going to share how I edited that one as well and this is another picture that you guys went crazy about. Then there's this one and there's another one I think yeah this one. So yes let's begin with the editing apps first. So I have a folder here on my iPhone that's called photography and I have a few apps here so these are the six other apps that I don't use and these are the three apps that I use the most so let's go on to snapseed first and I'm going to open a picture I have saved all the pictures that I'm going to edit here so this is the first picture this is a flat lay and um, I put these things on a pink chart paper and now I'm increasing the brightness the ambience the best part about this app is the ambience, it changes the picture like crazy and this is exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'm increasing the ambience and now I am, what am I going to do next? Um, I think I'm just going to save it and I exported it because if you're going to save it, it's going to overwrite the picture. So now I'm moving on to another app that's called VSCO or Visco, however you pronounce it. And here I'm going to import the picture, the same picture that I just edited on Snapseed. So now you can have like an overview of how your feed looks like. So that's the best part. So here are the filters and these filters are purchased. Like most of them are purchased and some of them are there by default. So um, yeah, so I'm going to try some filters. I like the A5 but it's like very vintagey and very... Um, I mean it doesn't suit my style so I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one this is HP2 and I'm going to reduce the filter a little bit and yeah I kind of like this so I think I'm going to use this and I'm gonna save it now so I'm going to save it to my camera roll to actual size and I'm done so the best thing about Visco is that you can see how your Instagram feed would look like. So you can upload your picture here and then have a look at how it would look on your feed and then you can upload and you know you could take a decision. <laughs> so that's what I do all the time. So now I'm editing another picture that's the one at the waterfall and um, yeah I'm editing it on Snapseed. So first I'm going to use tune image and increase the brightness or maybe ambience. So yeah, can you see this? This is crazy, isn't it? The ambience feature like changes everything about the picture. And now I'm making this picture a little sharper. So I'm changing the structure and now I'm using the selective tool and increasing the saturation of the skies. And I'm going to increase the blue, bluish tone on the skies. So that's how you do it. Now I'm using the selective feature again and I'm doing the same thing to the other part of the sky. And that's how it looks like. And I'm also increasing the saturation of the greens. This is so much cheating with Mother Nature, I know that. <laughs> but. It just makes the picture uh, a little more appealing that's what I think so yeah you can compare it to your previous your original and look at that now I'm increasing the brightness of the entire photo and the ambience again look at that so I'm happy with the image so I'm going to export it to my camera roll and now I'm moving on to another app that's Facetune. I purchased this app I think for around um, 300 bucks or something but it's really very crazy so I think you guys are going to like it.
So now I'm opening the picture we just edited on Snapseed. It's in my camera roll, the first one that we just edited. And this is it. And now I'm going to click on details. And if you closely look at the mountains, can you see that? So you just have to like run your finger over the part which you want to be more detailed. And that's it. And can you see that? Like I'm just clicking on the compare button right there. And this is crazy, isn't it? So now this is what it looks like from before. And I'm quite happy with it. So I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And I think I want a nice filter over it. So I'm going to edit it on Visco. Now I'm going to the A5 or I think I like I'm going to try Q3 and this is too saturated so I'm just going to like decrease the saturation the filter actually a little bit and I quite like it like this so yes I'm saving it to my camera roll to actual size and this picture is done I'm deleting this one so I have like an overview of what my feed will look like and this is the picture we just edited on Snapseed, Facetune and Visco. Now moving on to another picture. So that's the drill. I first edited on Snapseed, then Facetune and then Visco or sometimes first Visco and then Facetune. So now this is on Snapseed and this is one picture. So this is the original and if you have a look at the one I posted on Instagram, it's so different. So I'm first adjusting the perspective of this picture. So if you see, like I'm pushing it on to the right side because it looked a little tilted. So now I'm see, this is how it looked like before. Mm, now I'm going to go to tune image and increase and set the ambience actually and I like this now I'm going to selective and I'm going to reduce all the shadows so I'm increasing the brightness of all the shadows you can use two fingers and increase the area of the brightness part and now I'm going to go to crop because I don't really like the part I'm going to rotate it as well yeah so this is I don't like the sides so I'm going to crop it here And that's it so I'm going to export this picture I'm going to work on this picture more on facetune because I don't really like the yellowish balls here but first open the photo from your camera roll Now I'm going to add a filter like a whitish filter so you go to filters and then I'm going to Azure I don't know how this is pronounced it's Azure or Azure or whatever so I'm going to in put like uh, put it and like increase the filter now I'm going to wipe the filter off my body so I'm using the feature wipe and I'm just like running my fingers over my body and um, like the parts which I don't want to be like whitish so that's like my body my feet and maybe like a little bit of my background like the plants behind me 
and um, yeah so you might have to like zoom in a little bit I don't know if you can zoom in your but yeah so do you see I'm struggling with the part around my feet like now I'm doing the bed sheet you have to make sure that you don't like wipe off excess now I'm reducing the filter a little bit because I don't want it too bright so I'm keeping it to 100 and I quite like it like this or uh, I think there's too much of white on my feet I think I have to rub it off if you have like minute parts it's a lot of trouble but otherwise it's quite simple to do if you're using a stylus then it's easier and I think I like it like this I'm going to reduce the filter a little bit and that's it so this is how it looked first and now look at it saving it to my camera roll that was a lot of work <laughs> Now I'm putting it on Visco, import it from your camera roll and now I'm going to add like a good filter on it. So my favorite filter has to be Q3 and A5 and all those um, and HB2, HB1 but here it wouldn't look that great because it's like an indoor photo. So I'm sticking with maybe, um, let me check. HB2 looks quite nice actually so I'm gonna reduce it or keep it at 12 yeah I like it like this so I'm gonna save it to my camera roll and that's pretty much it uh, that's how I edit my Instagram pictures it's too much of a task actually I use three editing apps Sometimes I use the other apps as well, but these are the apps that I use the most. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope this is helpful and uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!